Hello guys and welcome to yet another video from Learn QT Guides. This is our first video in the year 2021 and I wanted to take this chance to wish you guys a happy new year and best wishes for whatever it is you have planned for 2021. In this video I wanted to share some of the things we've been working on in 2020 and the plans we have for 2021 and beyond. Now, I have been getting a lot of questions in this year, either through email or messages on social media asking, why aren't you making any new videos or any new courses? The reason is we've been pretty busy with some of the projects and the courses that we're really planning, and hopefully we're going to release some of them in this year. The big one is the C++ course we've been working on. This is a huge course and we've designed it to take the students from the bare fundamentals to a level where they can do pretty advanced things in C++. If you have watched any of our courses before, the style is going to be the same. We're going to explain things in detail and we're going to show you practical examples so that you can play with things right away. This course is going to be using modern C++, so we're going to be covering features from C++11 all the way to C++20. So C++20 has four big features, which are modules, concepts, ranges, and coroutines. We're going to cover them all in this course. We're going to also cover some of the smaller features in C++20, and you're going to learn all these things in this course. This is going to be a huge course. You can see the chapters that we have planned here. And everything here is almost done now. We have two chapters left, coroutines and modules in C++20, and we should be able to finish this up in the next week or so, and we should start recording. We plan to have this course released towards March or April this year, so you have to be a little patient if you really want to watch this. This is one of the things that really kept me busy in 2020, and I hope to get this finished. We have also been working on a few client projects. We have been lucky enough to keep our few clients in 2020. We helped them build graphical user interfaces for desktop, mobile, and embedded. And uh, that's taken quite a huge chunk of my time in 2020. There has also been the pandemic that's been a huge emotional load for many people. I'm not going to talk a lot about this because everybody has experienced this and there is life, kids and all kinds of crazy things that keep people busy. So that's why I haven't been able to post videos in 2020, but I hope to change that in 2021. I actually gave myself a goal of putting this video out on the first day of 2021 to kind of set a good start point for my goals in 2021. In 2021, when we are done with this C++ course, we're going to focus on Qt6 a little more. We're going to update our Qt Quick and QML courses for Qt6. If you go to Udemy here, you're going to see that we have six courses. Three of these courses are about Qt Quick and QML. If you look here, we have made it pretty clear that they are Qt5 courses. They work for Qt5 and Qt6 has been released in December of 2020 and we are currently working on ways we can update these courses. Qt6 didn't really change a lot about Qt widgets, so our Qt widgets courses won't require a lot of work, but we are ready to do a lot of work for our Qt Quick and QML courses. We may even completely redo them and have new versions for Qt6 out when we get to do this. Another thing we're going to have to do a lot work on is our multi-threading course. I believe Qt6 changed a lot of things in the way we do threading and I will find the time to investigate on this and update this course so that it works on Qt6. Okay, these are the plans we have in terms of updating our courses here. We also have a few courses planned. We want to do a practical project in QML this is going to have a UI in QML and a backend in C++. And this is the way we recommend to use C++ and QML. Doing your user interface in QML and connecting that to a powerful C++ backend. We're going to do a course on this. I am still thinking on the kind of project we might do, but we're going to figure that out when we get to do this. We also have plans for a course on Qt for Python. We have a lot of requests for Qt for Python, and uh, we plan on doing a course on that. 
once we are done with the courses that we are doing now. Another thing that is really big is Qt3D. This is a game changer in Qt6. It's going to allow you to design interactive applications that use 3D user interfaces. You're going to be able to view, zoom and pan in 3D. This is going to make your applications much more interesting. And this is really something I am pretty excited about in Qt6. Another thing we want to do on this channel and the courses we have on Udemy is to broaden our scope and talk about things you can do with standard C++ without completely relying on the Qt framework. In that regard, we have a few courses planned on threading in vanilla C++. We're also going to do a few courses on networking. That's something I am really interested in, but I haven't found the time to do this yet. And I have this planned. And if you are interested, you're going to enjoy this because this is a really fun topic. We also want to start exploring other GUI technologies here on Learn QT Guides or in the courses that we provide on Udemy. One of those things is Copper Spice. Copper Spice is a GUI framework, just like the Qt framework. It is actually a fork of the Qt framework. It is LGPL, so you can safely use this in uh, open source and commercial projects without a worry that somebody somewhere is going to sue you. And it is really good for desktop. I haven't tried this on mobile or embedded, and I don't think it's really going to work pretty well there because it's focused on desktop. But if you are a desktop application developer and you want something cross-platform that is going to work on Windows, Mac, and Linux, Copper Spice is perfect. It is developed by some of the best minds in C++ out there, but the problem I have found with Copper Spice is that the documentation is not very good and there aren't many tutorials that are focused on beginners to get these things up and running. And I hope I can be able to help in that and this is one of the things I really want to have covered on Learn QT Guides or in one of our Udemy courses. We're going to see how this works out. Imgui is one other thing that I have been playing with and I really love it. It is a bloat-free graphical user interface for C++ and you can use it to do really cool user interfaces that are minimal and really good. You can see some of the things people do with this. It is pretty cool. So this is something I would like to cover sometime in the future. So stay tuned if this is something you might be interested in. I also want to expand on the things we talk about here on Learn Qt Guides by covering some things that have to do with games and game engines. One such thing is Box2D, which is a physics engine for games. You can use this to add some level of interactivity in your C++ applications. And this is something I have been working on with some of our clients. And I find it interesting enough to cover here on Learn QT Guide. So we're going to play with this and we're going to see some crazy things you can do with this. So what we're really trying to do here at Learn QT Guide is expand on the topics we cover and talk a little more about standard C++ and some of the things you can do with that. Because Qt is a really tiny part of the C++ world and we want to give you a broader view on the things you can do with C++. So these are some of the things we have planned. Okay, some of you are saying, okay, Daniel, you've talked about everything else, but what about this visual booklets? What is CPP Mac? Well, I have been writing a few booklets for some topics. Here is a booklet we've written for the XMPP protocol. And I tried to make these booklets very visual. So I have been getting a few requests from people. Why don't you do something like this for C++ or Q? Well, I've listened. I want to spend some time to make these booklets and I'm going to try and cover some of the most difficult to understand topics in C++ and really help you guys learn about some of the topics we cover here at Learn Qt Guides. We're going to cover Qt, we're going to cover C++ and some of the things that revolve around really graphical user interfaces interactivity and things like that and hopefully by the end of 2021 we will have a few booklets on c plus plus like this if you have any suggestions on topics please share in the comments below and i will see what i can do about that okay this is all i had planned for this video guys hopefully you have a better idea of what we've been doing in 2020 and what we have planned for you in 2021 Again, I am wishing you a happy new year. Best wishes for whatever it is you have planned for 2021. Stay healthy, keep learning, and I will see you next time.